Tokyo Station, and from there we are going to go to Nagoya. This is part of our, um, we have a week of traveling in Japan, and we got this through the JR Pass, which is like a one-week pass, where you can travel all over Japan on their uh, JR trains, and other trains that um, uh, are in the same company. Basically, you get to travel all over Japan for a fixed price. For us, it was $280 for about a week's worth of traveling. And, um, yeah, uh, we thought it was really worth it because we got to go all over Japan. We're actually going to Nagoya first, and then we're going to Osaka, Kyoto, Kobe, Nara, in no particular order. And, yeah, we are about to head out today. And, yeah, see you in a bit. Can I get window seat? Yeah. I mean, can, I, can I get this seat? Yeah, that's my window. I can't sit here. No. If you are trying to travel here, like, like for me, I have T-Mobile for my coverage plan, but then uh, when I came here, there's no actually, there's no coverage at all. Even though on the website, T-Mobile promised coverage and 4G and stuff like that, but then I didn't get anything. I got no service as soon as I landed, and I didn't get anything since then. So what people oftentimes do is they get one of these things. It's a portable internet Wi-Fi thing. You basically just get one maybe at the airport, or you can order one before you come here, and they'll uh, ship it to the airport. So when you arrive, you'll get it. And it's basically, you know, portable Wi-Fi. You go anywhere, you get Wi-Fi. It's really helpful, especially if, you're, uh, if you need to contact people right when you land. Because if you have no communication when you land, it's kind of hard. It's actually really hard for me when I landed. So, yeah. Get one of these portable Wi-Fi. On our way from Tokyo to Nagoya, we actually took the wrong train. It was actually kind of funny because um, I thought I fucked up for a second, but then I realized that um, this train also, the train I got on also goes to Nagoya, but it gets there like 20 minutes faster. So like, even when I'm wrong, I'm damn right. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. But anyways, we're in Nagoya right now. We're at the station, and uh, before we head out to Nagoya Castle, I think we're gonna get a bite to eat. So see you guys next time on Dragon Balls. So this is it. Uh, so it's warm, and then the ice cream is hot. It's cold, and pretty much um, seems like a lot like Papa Love or what is that? Restaurant called Pop, uh, Papa Bear? Papa Bear. Papa, Papa Bear. Papa Bear, yeah. It kind of looks like that. Right, I'm going to take a bite. Alright, go for it. Yeah, I'll get a bite of that. Yeah, you can take a picture and you ate it. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing, yeah. Sugoi. Amazing, Sugoi. Sugoi Oishi. Mmm. I'll get a picture real quick. That stuff is so good. Like the, the bread and the ice cream Dude, really goes well together. Okay, okay, okay. Complements it uh, well with like a hot and cold kind of battle in your mouth. Seems like, like some anime convention with people dressing up. What is this? Is this Pretty cool. It's non-existent. Wow, there's a guy blowing a <laughs> pan for her. She's been eating right. Wow, it's like a parade. It's like some kind of parade for like a anime uh, fans. And yeah, there's people. A lot of people lined up here. You know, most of these things we didn't even know what what like is gonna happen here. We just came here out of a whim, and yeah, everywhere we stuff. everywhere we go, there's just like an event here and there. I guess that's Japan for you. Either that or we got really lucky. Not sure though, but yeah. No. Hey, he fam. Hey, fam me. So after a long ride from the um, anime 
anime convention thing. We are at a deli. Oh my gosh, Japanese delis are so cool. There's like food layout everywhere. You just pick whatever you want. And yeah, you just get to you just like eat it. It's um, reasonably priced, I'd say. It's kind of like um like a Chinese supermarket, and yeah, it's pretty cool. There's all kinds of food. You got Korean food, Japanese food, Chinese food. What's the Asian? And of course the hamburger. What did I tell you? So in in Japan, they don't call it hamburger. They just call it hamburger. Like there's no er. So, just okay. Holy shit. All right, after a long day of just like freaking walking around, we finally got some lunch. Uh, we had, this is a food court, you know, not anything too special, but we all got curry for some that. reason. Yeah, this is going to be the typical food, so, you know, I probably won't show you guys, show you guys me eating. All right. We just arrived at the hotel and what was this place called? Yeah, yeah. got yeah, so, um, it's a really nice hotel, actually. Yeah, so, what's happening right now is there's only two of us checking in because, um, we didn't know we were only reserved for two. So, we're gonna see if we can just both check in and then we'll have our two other friends follow. Um, I've had bad experiences with this because it never works, but, you know, we'll see. Well, I mean, if we can pay more, we'll pay more. <laughs> Our hotel. And, okay. Supposedly it's supposed to be like a deluxe room or something. But okay. Oh. Well, finally we get a shower, dude. We're freaking apartment back in, um, whatever that place is. No shower. Oh my gosh, you got the. Okay. You guys know what this means. I'm gonna I'm gonna vlog with the animal water thing and try it out. You know. Oh, they have that. Oh yeah, they my do. God, they Oh, and you oh get this, God. you get oh this room, and come on, okay, what's a room without a view? BAM! Look at this view, what? And you know what, we got this all for the price of zero dollars. Because um, my good friend here, zero dollars. Jeffy Chung. Dude, I don't think it's zero dollars thing. Jeffy Chung, um, he has uh, some Dude, uh, travel points or some shit. I don't know. And then he got it. He booked it for free. Okay, so I don't know how we're gonna get the rest of our two guys here, Whoa. but we'll just wait a bit. Say that we haven't. Um, yeah, and we'll see how. Yeah, stall a little, little bit. Wait for the workers to change shifts, and then I'll get them up here. Oh, they gave us such a good room too. Oh, we're looking at Honkyo, uh, Nagoya. This is Nagoya, everyone. Holy shit. We're gonna be hitting up some um, clubs later tonight. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Dragon Ball in My Pants. I mean, short, short, a disgusting shower. <laughs> uh, we got, we, we're going back to the subway and we got one of these cards. They're an IC card. Basically what these are, are that it's basically if you want to ride the subway you put money into this and then you swipe it as you go the japanese subway system works like you pay at how far you go so if you stop at one station one maybe it's 200 maybe you stop at station two it's 300 so, something like that so you just pay with this car right. we're at nagoya castle and Meijo park Yes, and I guess we're just gonna keep start going in. A lot of tourists here. Um, pretty, uh, pretty nice. It's um, yeah, we're going in from the east gate. Okay. One thing I've noticed is that, like, if you wear your yutaka or your, hey, what's the girl dress called, Ryan? Kimono. Kimonos. Um, some stores or like bars they give you discounts. I didn't know that, but I saw that yesterday, which I thought was pretty cool. Something to notice. So you know, if you want to get a discount store, oh, okay. <laughs> I got jinxed. I thought this was gonna be a free entry kind of thing, but you kind of have to pay a fee. Oh well. Uh, we're over here. Might as well go in. Hey guys, hey, hey guys, come. Okay, four o'clock. Okay. Oh, cool. So I don't know. We I just we just went inside like a smaller entrance and they gave us these hats. I'm guessing there's like some tour going on at four. 
Yo, what? I mean, this is the place that got killed by the uh, earthquake. Oh, okay, oh, so. Are you serious? There's like some. I don't know, this is so spontaneous. Hey, let's <laughs> get a picture. Get a picture. I, I just keep video. Okay, good. It's on video, so. Hey, how do you lock this? You don't have to lock it. You don't have to lock it. Holy crap, I don't know This is so cool. Can we get that on tape? No. Okay, so this is what, this, this just happened just now. Look at the sign. This is like six feet tall. Look at my head. <laughs> Freaking Japan, man. Everything here is so low. Oh. I feel like he's telling some jokes or something. Fuck. What? Um, I'm just confused. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, okay. They're about to do it. with the lighting and whatnot, but it's like a recreation of Odin times that no, used to be here. Creatures. They have to be played and going, going, going. And then they're inflating it again. <laughs> it's really like a like a penis and a vagina. <laughs> oh my god, dude, check out the guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay, that's pretty cool. Get some ramen. This is actually my first time getting ramen in Japan. Wow. Anyways, look at this. This is known as the Tukeman. Uh, Fujiyama ramen. And look at this. It's huge. Sure. So I got the um, the light lighter sauce and these guys got the miso one. This thing is really big. where'd you get this? This looks pretty good. Damn, the clock is like... so thick. Very thick. You're thick. Can I have some chopsticks? It's, uh, um, spoon. Mm. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's good, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put this down and enjoy this. See you guys later. Some street performers outside the Hanayama station.
some Japanese television. Seriously the weirdest shit ever, but you know, that's what makes it funny.